Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for April 25th. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Mark the Evangelist. Saint Mark, a cousin of Barnabas, accompanied Saint Paul on his first missionary journey and later went with him to Rome. He was a disciple of Saint Peter whose teaching was the basis for Mark's gospel. Mark is said to be the founder of the Church of Alexandria. Saint Mark the Evangelist, pray, pray for, for us. us. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, we're in volume two. Our hymn today is 1,239. Antiphon, 1,786, 1,088 for the Psalms. And back to 178. Six for the reading. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn 10, 1132 for the Psalm, Antiphon, 707 for the Psalms, and back to 1132. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad, and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that morning, the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his work and then pronounced them good. Lord, all thy wonders are displayed wherever turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread or gaze upon the sky. The holy evangelists search the wisdom of past ages. Through their gospels, they confirm the words of the prophets, Alleluia. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you, my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help, in the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Holy Evangelist searched the wisdom of past ages. Through their Gospels, they confirm their words of prophets. Alleluia. Through the Gospel, God called us to believe in the truth and to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you above the waters, bless the Lord. All you host of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. 
every shower and dew bless the lord all you winds bless the lord fire and heat bless the lord cold and chill bless the lord dew and rain bless the lord frost and chill bless the lord ice and snow bless the lord nights and days bless the lord light and darkness bless the lord lightnings and clouds bless the lord let the earth bless the lord praise and exalt him above all forever mountains and hills bless the lord everything growing from the earth bless the lord you springs bless the lord seas and rivers bless the lord you dolphins and all water creatures bless the lord all you birds of the air bless the lord all you beasts wild and tame bless the lord you sons of men bless the lord O israel bless the lord praise and exalt him above all forever priests of the lord bless the lord servants of the lord bless the lord spirits and souls of the just bless the lord holy men of humble heart bless the lord Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Through the, the gospel, gospel, God called us to believe in the, the truth. truth. And, and to share, share the, the glory, glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Alleluia. Many will praise their wisdom. It shall be remembered forever. Alleluia. Sing a new song to the Lord. His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy, and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and the two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Many will, will praise their wisdom. wisdom. It, it shall be, be remembered, remembered forever. forever. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and in which you stand firm. You are being saved by it at this very moment. I handed on to you first of all what I myself received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he, may as he was buried and in accordance with the scriptures rose on the third day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This um, scripture talks about short-term memory. Have you played a game, passed the message game? In the game, a message is given to the first person in a line of people. And when they are instructed to pass the message on, by whispering it in the ear of the next person in line. The outcome of the game can be hilarious. Jesus handed on his message to us, and we all heard it. But as we go on, the story is often watered down and sometimes misunderstood as simply poetry. The Bible 
sounds so it sounds so fantastic that some may assume it as friction Jesus message of salvation is real and is written as scripture and the author is the Holy Spirit a written guide to our salvation Jesus reminds us today because we can get so busy existing in our busy world that we might be ignoring our true purpose and destination, and that is to be God's children. This Easter, we are reminded that Jesus is risen from the dead, that we also may rise and know that we are being saved at this very moment. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of His power to save. Alleluia, alleluia. They, they proclaimed, proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of His power to save. Alleluia, alleluia. And of the wonders He had worked. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. They, they proclaimed, proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of His power, His power to, to save. save. Hallelujah. Through the grace of Jesus Christ, preachers and teachers were sent out as ministers of the faith for all who believe. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through, Through the, the grace, grace of Jesus Christ, Christ preachers and, and teachers were sent out to be ministers of the faith for all who believe. Alleluia. Let us sing a song of praise to our Savior, who destroyed the power of death and made clear the path of life and the immortality through the gospel. And let us petition him in humble supplication, strengthen, strengthen your, your church in faith, faith and love. love. You gave wonderful guidance to your church through her holy and distinguished teachers. May Christians rejoice always in the splendid legacy given to your church. When their holy pastors prayed to you, as Moses had done, you forgave the sins of the people. Through, Through the, the intercession, intercession of, of this holy, holy pastors, continue to sanctify and purify your church. You anointed your holy ones in the midst of their brothers and called the Holy Spirit upon them. Fill all, all the leaders, leaders of your people with the Holy Spirit. Spirit. You yourself are the sole possession of your holy pastors. Grant that those, those who have redeemed, redeemed with, with your blood, blood may remain always in you. In you. 
At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Strengthen the church, church in, in faith, and faith and love. love. Now let us offer the prayer Christ has given us the model for all prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you gave St. Mark the privilege of proclaiming your gospel. May we profit by his wisdom and follow Christ more faithfully. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May, May the, the Lord bless us, us protect us from all evil, evil and bring, bring us to everlasting life. life. Amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.